should you use semicolons in JavaScript? Now, here's my answer. It doesn't matter whether you use semicolons or not in JavaScript. It is not going to make a big difference in the quality of your code. If you don't use semicolons, your code might look a little bit nicer without the dangling dots at the end of each sentence. But that's just about it. Now I understand that there are people who will say that you're a piece of shit and your coding quality sucks and I don't even want to talk to you if you don't use semicolons in JavaScript. Ignore these people. And don't, re and don't worry about what they say because they're just too rigid in their thinking and they cannot accept new things. So in summary, it is okay not to use semicolons. You can choose whether you use or not use semicolons and that is up to your personal preference. As long as you remain consistent and you stick with your team's conventions, you are perfectly fine. Personally, I don't use any semicolons in my code because I feel that JavaScript is easier to write without it. I used to use semicolons, but when I realized that there is no need to use semicolons, I removed it and I didn't go back to writing with semicolons. If you're curious about why it is possible to not write code with semicolons, uh, I invite you to read this article by Ferros. He explains the technicalities on why there is no need to use semicolons. I highly recommend you read Ferros's article and decide for yourself whether you want to use semicolons or not. Whether you use semicolons or not use semicolons, it is important for you to make sure that you remain consistent throughout your entire code base. To do that, I use the help of a linter. A linter is a program that checks your code for consistency. With a linter, I can write code with or without semicolons and it really doesn't matter. Because once I hit save, the editor formats the code for me and it removes semicolons and it also fixes my indentations automatically. So I highly recommend you use a linter as well. The linter I'm using right now is Sublime Linter because I use Sublime Text. If you don't use Sublime Text, you should be able to search for linter plus your editor and you should be able to find something that would help you out. The linting package that I'm using without semicolons is called standard. If you like to use semicolons, you might prefer a linting package called semi-standard. I hope you found this video useful. If it is useful to you and you'd like to hear more from me, feel free to leave your name and email address over at zeldaplicate.com and I'll update you whenever I release a new article every Wednesday or a new video like this one every Friday. If you have any questions about front-end development, or if you want to say hi, feel free to drop me an email as well. You can find my contact information in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'm Zell. Stay awesome and have a nice day.